I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're on Twinkle. Twinkle. I just want to sing the song, you know what I mean? How I wonder what Wait, you yeah. are. So, oh, I don't have any, I don't have the star I one. Star. So I'm just going to put this one out. It's pretty. We haven't used this in a while. All right, so in Twinkle, it's a little 15-minute dice game mm -hmm. um, where you strategically place dice into a constellation. Um, each player has their own constellation. Place from one to four players. Um, it's two to four player competitive. There's a one player campaign mode where uh, you work through some mission cards to where you like make it you make it progressively harder. You try to hit a point total and then move on to the next mission. So what is this? Solo. Oh, you're since wanting me to show it. it. <laughs> so yeah, so with the solo mode, You've got to use these dice and mission number, what is that? Mission number 11? 11. Yeah. Yeah. So, or what is that? Yeah. It's silver mission 11 because yeah. we've got bronze, silver, and gold level missions. Yeah. So, actually, where are the, that doesn't start off with the bronze ones for some reason. It just has silver and gold in there. Oh, no, it is silver. There is just silver and gold missions, yeah. I guess. So no, sil no, it says silver and bronze missions. Are the bronze harder? I don't know. So, um, you can play the two to four player games with mission cards. We're just going to play the basic game without the mission cards. Um, but with Twinkle, each of the dice scores a little bit differently. So, let's, let's go to the overhead and take a look at this. I mean, the first thing to notice is that there are six different rule books for the game. One for each of six different languages. So we're talking like 96 pages worth of rule book. Um, might have been better to, to uh, a lot. I know a lot of people in other countries speak English. I know that uh, a lot of people say, oh, well, you're just Amerocentric. But if you've been outside of the U.S., you'll know a lot of people speak English because it is, you know, the language that is used in business and air travel and everything. So... Maybe having one copy of the rules, and then if you need other uh, language editions, either you publish them in that language. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like a lot of trees to burn for a really small dice game. Um, anyway, as that is said, um, it does come with a ton of dice. You don't use all of them. You will use a random four colors. So every game will be a little bit different, especially if you use the mission cards. Um and on uh, your turn, you are going to roll three dice. Um, if you choose dice, uh, you can either choose three dice from here or these eight-sided dice that have already been pre-rolled. If you choose to not use three dice, you can take one of these eight-sided and just put it in your constellation um, with the value that's already on it. If for some reason you roll three dice and one of the eight sided is included in that and you don't use that, it's gonna go right back onto the center here and available for the next person with whatever result that you rolled. So these are connectors. They will connect stars to your two starting stars. Uh, I'm gonna be blue, so that's gonna be pink as we do. Um, so uh, we're gonna roll the dice. You're gonna place it in the constellation. Uh, here are a few rules. If you have a star out here, you can have no more than two dice coming off of each star. That also includes these stars out here. It does not mean you have to use, uh, you have to fill it up with two. You can make a big long string so let's put a three here and a one here. And this can go, you know, just far off in a single line if you wanted it to. Um, however, when you place these, the dice must go from larger number to smaller number as you go outward. Um, so that's going to be really important whenever you're trying to roll these. If for some reason you can't place one, you just have to give up your turn. Um, we have eight connectors, so we're going to have basically eight rounds, assuming we don't lose any rounds for poor throws. Um, like I say, each of these cards will score differently. 
Um, the Twinkle card will give you two points. This is going to be in every game. You're going to get two points if the number of faces on the die is larger than the one before it. Now, that's going to be difficult if you are trying to go from larger number to smaller number. But maybe you put a 10-sided die here and then a 12-sided die here. Or you, or you get all the way out to the end and you put a 12-sided die at the end that only score that is only worth a one. You know, making sure to roll, you know, something really small for that last, for that last number. I should use something other than green, Michael. <laughs> so putting a 12-sided die with a low number out at the very end, and hey, you're gonna get two points each time that happens in your constellation. With yellow dice. The number of yellow dice that you have in your entire constellation, not just off of one of your stars. One is worth one point, two is worth three points, three is worth six points, three or more is worth six points. Uh, green likes dice that are the same uh, number of faces. Uh, so if each green die is worth one, each other die of another color that is that same shape, basically. Uh, is going to be worth one point apiece. Uh, the purple cards, the purple dice rather, want uh, to be next to other dice. Uh, notice that you can only, remember you can only have two different dice coming off of each uh, die. You can't have three coming off of one. So the most points you're ever going to get with purple is three points per die. Mm -hmm. Finally, we have black. If you have one black die in underneath a single starting star, you'll score one point. If you have two or more, you're gonna score a number of points equal to uh, this table here based on the sum of the dice. Mm -hmm. And that is pretty much it. So, Alexa, flip a coin. It's tail, so that's me. Uh, Kabuki Kids said most countries have English as their official language than any other. Uh, more countries have English as their official language than any other. And amazingly, the U.S. is not one of them. Agreed. So, yeah. Um, I think this is a prototype. I think it was just on Kickstarter. <coughs> and it was funded. <coughs> so, I think you might be able to pre-order it from their Kickstarter page. And oh, it, nice. There's a bunch of, like, special dice and everything. Oh, yeah. They're, like, glittery dice. I think so. They'll so, look, they'll look better than these then, you know, these just look like Chessex standard dice. I mean, they're not bad. They're quite usable. So, I mean, they look normal. <laughs> so, <clears throat> thanks to you saying that. We flip to flip tails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we usually get everyone's dot yep. going off. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to start out. This is always the hard part. How do we want to start this? <clears throat> You know what? I am just going to take. I am just going to take. I think I'll just take this eight. And not roll anything. I like rolling. All right. I'll, I'll put your little rolling device over here. The uh, dice tray does not come with it. It comes with chai, tea for two, if you're interested in these awesome little dice Terrible. trays. That's not great. It's not bad. You do have a seven there. All right, put your little uh, thing out there, just like that, and then those go back. Poosh. Well, now what to do? I'm going to roll. A purple and a blah. A green. Doesn't have to be all three different. But I'm not sure what I want to do with this. And a yellow. How about that? That's not good. Nine, three, two.
Purple dice wants friends, not counting the starting star. So that's not, that's not great. Uh, Dan says you can buy it for 30 euro. No idea about shipping costs. Don't think it's a Kickstarter edition. Okay. Know. Well, thanks for looking it up. Thanks, Dan. Well, let's do this. Okay, okay, I will go this and this and uh, and uh, this. this and uh, this. Ta -da. One. <laughs> How about that one? Put it. <laughs> Put uh, it. This is not what I wanted. <laughs> Kabuki bought a couple of those collapsible leather dice trays with the snaps. They're great and they travel well too. Yeah, they're really good. Putting it. <laughs> you are putting it. Nice. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How about a 12 and a 12 and a... A 12 and a 12 and a... So does that count as my first one, which is one point, and then not the other one? That is correct. Add... Uh, n the other ones, no. When you get two, it's worth the sum. Oh. Instead. Oh. I'm going to double check on that. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to double, I'm gonna double check. Make sure ever, if there's only one black die anywhere under any... Anywhere. Come on. I mean, if you're going to have multiple languages, get it right. Anywhere under a player's starting star. Okay. Uh, then it scores one. If there are more, then they score victory points depending on their sum. Okay. It says players should calculate the black dice separately for each starting star. So you oh, would get okay. two separate totals. Okay. How about that? Eight, 11, nine. Wow. Eight doesn't suck. No, it's pretty good. I will put this dude right here. Okay. And put these back. Yeah. And? And. Roll good. Uh, 10, 8, Oops. 6. It ain't going under here. Well, this can. That one can, yes. You're correct. Thinking about it. You can. In addition to this game, the publisher did a series of puzzles on the labors of Hercules. Didn't one? Didn't you try one or two of oh, those? Oh, yeah, we did oh, play that. If that was that, yeah. I didn't realize that was that. I did not know. All right, it's you. Oh, you did do it. Um, You know what? This doesn't hurt. You're just doing that? That's oh. three points right there. I guess. This. It's a three-point die. This. It's really difficult to get more than three points per die in this. this. And might be worth more. Uh, roll good. How about that? Four, four, two. Not great. It's, it's fantastic. I'm going to do that. Okay. Not happy about it. That's what I'm doing now. Okay. Good Nate. luck. Good luck to you. So a little bit of risk reward with this. Um, I think I'll take uh, the 10. Certainly I won't roll high with all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will. Five. 
five, eight, one. Eight and five is 13. That totally destroys that score with the five. It's so high. Um, but this is the three point die. So I'm going to do it. I'm rolling these two. And uh, yeah, this one, sure. Uh, How about those? Is that a 10? That's a 10. Wow. 10, three, two is what you got. Not really what I wanted. <laughs> Three is actually good. Three is good. Let's go with it. Okay. Keep going up this. Could go. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Tink. Tink. My constellation is looking a mighty fine. Rules. I wish well, I had a command for rules. Rules. <laughs> DTL force. No, I don't Man, like looks, any of it. It looks cool. One, one, four. Wow. The rules for this are in the link above. Okay. Yeah, if you want to check out the rules, they're in um, the link above. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Uh, this can't probably be any better. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. You mean that? Yeah. Nine, like Not that? Not great. Now what? Now what? I really need, like, this, I guess. And what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got two more links. You got two, three more links. And we are done. A 10, oh, a yeah, 7. That's exactly what that is. Jeez. And a 7. Wow. That was like not what I wanted. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Oh, I should definitely take this because reasons. Because of reasons. I'll come over here. I will roll. Uh, I could place this and get a neighbor. That would only be worth two points, though. It's not not best. I will roll it though, and roll this, and roll. Oh, the, Dan, do you galaxy. mind relinking it? Thank you. Thank you. No thanks. Oh, but this could probably only be worth two points. Because I've already got three of those dudes. These dice are not great what's left. <laughs> That's not great. These are not great. Not great. These are not, 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 not great. Not, 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 not great. Not great. Ooh. Five, two, one. Wow. That's not what I wanted. It's not bad. It's really not bad. Not what I wanted, though. That is really not bad. I would take them. For what? Huh? What do you mean, what? I like those dice. Well, there's a problem with them. There's a problem with them. It's 
So the black dice, I have to look at one more time because if I put it off of here, is it counted the same as, the, like, is it counted the same as this one? No. Or is it two separate? It's two separate. So it could, you could have four separate black. Oh, no, no, no. This, I would consider the same. That's what I'm this asking. This one over here, I would say it's different. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. That's exactly what I am asking. So, here's the catch. If you can place them, you must place them. So, I have to take this 5, 2, 1 and do something with it. I can't say, no, I just pass. That is not allowed. It's probably fine. Uh, what's probably fine? Passing? No. Uh, taking any one of these and placing it. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not what I wanted. I understand. I've had my, most of my roles be not what I wanted. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. This is worth the most points. Obviously. Probably. I mean, Obviously. Let's see depending what on what I place. Well, the biggest of the biggest. Biggest of the biggest. To get something of the same things. All right, that's a nine, which is terrible. Not what I want. That's pretty bad. So four is. Is that six and under? Yes. I, you would get two points. That's terrible. One for each black die, basically. It's better to put the green down. Hey, blanket term. Thanks for the raid. Hello, radars. Blanket Yay! nap time. Welcome in. Hey, thanks for following. Thanks for the raid. Oh my god. Is that where we're at now? Yes. Oh, Mr. Okay. Sock, thanks you for the raid. <laughs> <laughs> like it turns out Lala Sock. <laughs> Some people call me a sock puppet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ruel returns. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody loves me. I think I should tell him my name. Haynes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Haynes Sock. <laughs> Some people call me Maurice. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Kermit the Frog later. I actually do a pretty decent Kermit, Kermit impression. He does. He does. This is true. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> so, um, Kermit's albino brother. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so good. <laughs> All right. What am I going to do? I'm going to do this, which is not great, but it is worth like three points. <laughs> Is that <laughs> uh, why does all this suck? People want to know. This game is Twinkle. Yeah, you got to put it in the screen. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to say little. <laughs> and then, and then it's, someone to say star. It's really, really hard not to. Really, say really, it's really, 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 really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, board game geek who we've not heard of this before. Star, how oh, I wonder. <laughs> wow. Um, this is only going to give me a point. This will give me points for neighbors. I guess this gives me one whopping point. This gives me nothing, but I have to roll it. I should have done this. Uh, I'll take, I'll snatch that one up. Sure. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, how about those? Wow. No. Not great. That is not great. <laughs> is not great. Wait, and so the way we're placing these dice, we're trying to score points based on these cards out here. This is the last turn. This is so, the last turn. Yeah. The final countdown. <laughs> Well, he wants neighbors, but man, that's like a one-point die. It really sucks. Yeah. If 
you put it. It's like two points if it, I yeah, add it to him, but yeah, mm, it's it, not great. I mean, I was really gonna take bad. that. What am I gonna roll now? I mean, I need to roll these ones for sure. For sure. For sure, and that that's one point, one point, one point. This is the turn that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my A friend. A ten. Come on. Come. And it's worth one point. One point, one point, one point. Well, it's not great. That was like the worst. I need like a one with that. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, I could put it off of... I could you put it way off of that. You can't even see it out here, but... Go back down. Believe... Here, turn that. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, now you turn this thing over and now, ta -da, we score. now it's a scoreboard. <laughs> so we put our little pieces on there, uh, like so. Like so. All right, let's score for Twinkle Score. I've got two, four. That's it, four. <laughs> yeah, I got four as well. <laughs> Lame. Done. Let's do this. Six. Dice were not rolling in my favor. You don't have any any yellow Nothing. score. Nothing. Nothing. How about green score? I've got one, two, three, four. I don't need them anymore. Seven. Whoa. What a catch up. Neighbors. One, two, three neighbors. Seven. Long seven's big lead. Ooh. Here we go. I have nine points for five. Uh, one. <laughs> one, two, oh, three, no. four, five. Sorry. Two. To who? Oh. Got you by, I actually beat you uh. for once. You beat me the first game of this. I did. I beat you the second game. Well, I was trying so hard to get the bigger dies behind the littler dies. It's really hard it's to do. really hard to do. It's a good do. little puzzle, and I'm sure with the challenges, it might make it even it more challenging. It could be a really good solo game, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you're supposed to, like, you know, like, bronze mission cards for a two- to four-player game yeah. make a line of five dice or more. Yeah. Which, you know, that would give you, boom, you've got bronze mission. Oh, well, yeah, we also took out which the red. you did that one, two, three, four, five, right? Oh, yeah. And we also took out the red and the blue, which, like, reds score on... Odds or evens in a line, I think it might be a little overpowered. Because Steph got this and, like, crushed my soul. Mm. Um, blue also scores quite a bit in that if you get pairs of blue dice off the same die, it's worth four points. So it's like two apiece. And sometimes two is better than the crap we were rolling at the end. So, <laughs> true. anyway, with different combinations of things, you can have all sorts of different games uh, different game experiences happening. That's right. But I mean, who doesn't like And dice? then of course all of like all the, the, mission, the cards. mission cards and stuff which we haven't even played with, so. I mean, you know, you've got all sorts of all sorts of things going on here. So, yeah. For sure. Yeah, things adding up to 13, 13 or 14. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally worth checking out. Um, Lots of dice. A little bit of game. Rule book could be better. But, yeah. And thinner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. So, yeah, for a simple game, it shouldn't need 16 pages of rules. But they do. What I do five. like is if, if there is a question with a card, it's probably talked about in detail on there. So, you don't have to rely on the iconography. So, there is that. There is that. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. It's cute. It's fast. Absolutely. Uh, Twinkle by B Games. Again, one to four players. And, well, it says two to four, but it's really one to four. Yeah, you can solo you this. You can indeed solo this. So, yeah, check it out. We'll be right back.